Hey, uh, if you got moles in your yard, I'm gonna show you one of my uh, DIY mole shotgun traps. I, uh, I had lots of moles around and I got tired of dealing with them. So I built this trap. I'm gonna show it to you down here. i show you, it uses a 12 gauge shotgun shell. It uses various parts. I'll uh, show you how it works and then I'll show you kind of how I put it together. And if you wanna build one, I would just say, you know, of course shotgun shells are uh, inherently dangerous when you are attempting to use them to to blast something so be really careful i have some safety measures that i have in place and i'll show what those are so you can be careful too but if you have any doubts at all don't bother there's other ways of catching moles i found that moles are pretty sneaky they're good at figuring out what a trap is and avoiding it and uh, this this particular method has been pretty effective for me so let me show you to you right now so what you see here here's it's just a 2 by 12 2 by 12 that i had just a scrap and to that i attached a regular old victor rat trap it could be any kind of rat trap just the big one it's much bigger than a mouse trap you see my hand in here much bigger than a mouse trap it's, it's a rat trap it's got a lot of power behind it and uh before i put it on the board i uh i cut the end of it off i just kind of rounded it out and the reason is i wanted the you know the part that you might think would catch the mouse or the rat usually i wanted that to be off the end of the rat trap and i'm gonna i'm gonna grab i'll grab the whole trap so you can see it right now it's not it's not currently uh it's not rigged to fire. I would say the safety is currently on. It uh, it can't go off in the, in the way it is. There is a shotgun shell in it right now, and I'll show you where all that sits in the shop in a minute, but I'm gonna take the rat trap out, excuse me, the mole trap out of the ground. So you can see, got me a mole hole there. Goes back pretty good. Uh, you know, he's been digging and I've been working on it. So inside the mole hole, Underneath the part that would set off the rat trap, there you see the wires, and there's a couple holes I just drilled in the wood, and they go all the way through. And on the back side, there's this wire. It's a piece of, piece of pretty stiff uh, wire. Actually, I think it might have been electric fence wire, like a kind of a heavier gauge. Thing. I just made a, a little plunger part. See the plunger? And it slides. I, I bent it, so it slides pretty easy. And when it slides, I'm going to show you the noise, because this can't go off right now. Uh, when it slides in and out, at some point... If you push it far enough, it hits the hits the depressor on the rat trap. So this will, if the point is when the mole gets down here, I'm going to push up on this. Watch, I just tapped it a little bit. The rat trap goes off and it hits the cap on this black steel pipe. Now this black steel pipe is just a three quarter inch piece of black steel, uh, black iron pipe. Excuse me, and uh, three quarter inch black iron pipe is just the right diameter so a 12 gauge shotgun shell will fit down right in there okay there is a 12 gauge shotgun shell and there's full of dirt right now because i just shoved in the dirt pretty hard and uh inside there let's see if you can see the end of the you can maybe see a little bit of red in there the shotgun shell packed with dirt uh it'll, the dirt will come out no problem inside the shotgun shell inside the pipe you put the cap on and that shotgun shell will go easily inside that three quarter inch black iron pipe but the the brass uh, on the end of it won't fall inside it'll just kind of sit there and so on the cap you can you can screw the cap in and then in the cap i drilled me a real careful little hole right in the center and then right in the center of that when i'm ready to fire it when i'm ready to trigger it when i'm ready to turn off the safety so i want it to fire start to do this with one hand I uh, I put in, I'm going to pull back the depressor just a bit with one hand, there you go. I put in a, a roofing nail, regular old roofing nail, a short one. This is only like a one inch or maybe one and a quarter, what is it? It looks like about one inch, okay, not very big. And now that, that roofing nail in that hole, it sits up against, it sits up against that, uh, the primer on the shotgun shell. So when the rat trap does go off, I don't want to pull back too far. When the rat trap is fully pulled back, and then the mole pushes on the wire plunger, the right trap springs, boom, it hits that nail, and that shotgun shell will go off. Now, look where it's pointing. When the shotgun shell goes off, uh, there, the mole pushes this, that shotgun shell goes off. It makes a lot of racket. It makes quite uh, an explosion, and uh, it shoots, you can do bird shot, whatever you got in there, it comes out and it will take care of your mole problem for you. So uh, the way I set it is this. It's pretty hard to do. First of all, when I'm ready to set it, I don't put the firing pin in. I'm going to pull that out and be real careful. Don't. Make sure you know that your fire, firing pin's not in there. I just dropped that. I'm going to lose it. 
make sure you put your firing pin away when you're getting ready to set it because that could be dangerous. And so then you set it, you pull this thing back. First of all, you want your wire to be all the way down. Set that wire all the way down. Pull this, this spring part back all the way. Hard to do with one hand. I got just using my phone for this fancy video. All right, so I pull that. Hmm. I pull that back. All right, now you can see I got it. Sorry, push that wire down. Come on now. All right, there we go. Okay, so I did that barely one-handed. I uh, pull back the trap. I use a little arm. I go in to get it, just like you're setting the mouse trap. Okay, and then be real careful when you make sure you get your hand out of the way. When a rat trap goes off, if you get your hand stuck in it, it really hurts. A mouse, regular mouse trap won't hurt you. But this one, if you get your finger under there, you might regret that a little bit. It's not going to cause any permanent injury, probably, but maybe on a joint or something. So then, now it's set. Okay? When something pushes on that depressor, whatever you call that thing, the, the trigger on the rat trap, that's going to go off. The wire under here, it goes all the way through that board and touches there. So then what you do is you take that thing, make sure there's shotgun shell in there. I put some things on the inside. You can see I've got a hose clamp. i got some nuts just to try to keep that barrel, for the lack of a better word, inside the trap. Then you take your trap, you identify yourself a mole hole that you know is active. You've seen some signs of it. This one goes back pretty good. Yeah, it goes back, goes back in there quite a ways. Okay, and so I know the moles have been messing around in there, and I'm tired of it. And so then you stick this thing down. You're gonna clear some space a little bit so you can get that down in there. You can see that plunger's going down in that hole. And then you can also see the rock that I have there kind of prop it up a little bit. I already had this set before the video. The thing you want to be care of, careful of, that wire, you don't want, when you're pushing it down to the ground, if that wire comes up too much, if that wire pops up, it's going to set off the trap and you get to start over. So be careful. Watch that. So you get it set in place where you like it. I do want the wire to be close to the plunger. I want these to be pretty close together so that if the mole does even just do a quick pass and just pushes some dirt into the hole hopefully that the plunger will get depressed and it will set off okay so oops you don't want that i don't want it moving around right now. that could be scary huh okay and plunger's down in the hole trying to get this thing set up. i'm using this this rock just kind of prop it up at the right angle here okay so then i've see this wire moves see the wire is pretty loose in there i kind of want it to be close but I don't want to set it off on accident. Then when I'm ready to set it, say I'm, I'm happy with the way things are. I got it set up. It's in the ground. I also want to make sure everybody in your house knows what you're building and what you're doing so that they know what this thing is. They don't come investigating it. Uh, then I take a piece of wood here. It's just a broom handle. And I put the broom handle in the ground so it's got some traction right in front of that trap. So if... if I go to put my firing pin in there, in that little hole. If I happen to bump something wrong, or the thing shifts while my hand's down there, um, it doesn't accidentally just come firing out. Sometimes this thing will just go flying around if you're not careful. So I put something over the top, I'll show you that. So I've got, right now I've got this piece of wood in the way. So even if the trap goes off, the trap will just hit the wood. It won't go through the wood, everything's fine. Then I drop this firing pin in carefully. Okay, so now I've got firing pin it's engaged I got my trap set and then when I'm ready I pull my pull my stick out if that mole came right now it would wake us all up he won't come right now and then what I do is I just have this wash tub basin thing I stick a wash tub over the top of it that'll help control the blast and then usually what I'll do is I'll stick a bucket full of rocks on top of that Maybe a warning cone and tell everybody else in the house, hey, stay away from the cone. Don't move the rock bucket so no animals can knock it over or any of that stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take this apart and I'll show you the uh, shotgun shell inside that barrel in just a second in the shop so I can get that cap off and hopefully hold on to the camera at the same time. All right now we're back at the shop. You can see here's that cap again. I'm just going to unscrew it real quick. And then inside there you can see that shotgun shell. And pull that out. You can see I've got some... some uh, it's a conduit. No, that's what they call those things. A conduit washer for locking conduit in. You can find a size that fits on that three-quarter inch black pipe. 
You can see that, that uh, 12 gauge shotgun shell fits right down in, but the brass part there won't fall down. So then inside that cap, I drilled a hole. Sometimes I stick some wood in there just to give it a little extra channel to flow through so it, you know, kind of keeps the uh, nail lined up. And then you screw this thing back on there. Sometimes it gets um, a little rusted on, but I had to come in and get this channel off to pull it off. So now inside there, I got my 12 gauge shell, got my cap on so that when I set the trap, boom, it's right on that hole. And of course, there's going to be a nail in that hole, and when that nail hits that primer, that mole's going to go bye-bye. If you got any questions about how I build it, I could measure things. It's, I think it's self-explanatory if you got any experience building stuff. If you got any ideas for how to improve it, let me know. Sometimes I've made these little plungers quite a bit shorter. This one's pretty long. I've got several of these now. Sometimes I put like a big fat washer on the end. This one I just wrap some wire around itself. It seems to work okay. I've caught several moles with it. Um... Again, be careful. Don't try this at home if you aren't confident. Uh, you know, that shotgun shells are dangerous, so be careful. And uh, happy mole hunting, huh?